Well, today marks the 70th anniversary of Western Mass News. Our very own Dave Matz and share us how it all got started and how we got to where we are now. It all began on Tuesday, April 14th, 1953. WHYN-TV on the air for the first time on Channel 55. WHYN-TV was founded by the Hamden Hampshire Corporation, who were the owners of WHYN Radio. WHYN-TV originally operated as a CBS affiliate. It moved to Channel 40 on September 30, 1957, in order to give the station a closer dial position to the other UHF stations in the region. WHYN lost the CBS affiliation in November 1958, when WT. TIC in Hartford, now WFSB, went on the air. In 1959, Channel 40 became an ABC affiliate and has been with the ABC network ever since. Back in the 50s and 60s, there weren't any syndicated programs like Family Feud or Kelly and Ryan, so it was all about local programming. Of course, there was local news. The first newscast of the day was a five-minute segment just before 7 every night. And at 11, we offered 15 minutes of news, sports, and weather. No videotape or digital recording like today. It was all on film, shot in the field, and then processed back at the station. There wasn't any videotape until the mid-60s. That's why the only memories we have of these live programs are still pictures. For the kids, there was Bozo the Clown every morning and the Admiral and Swabby every afternoon. The Admiral was played by Gary Garrison, who was also a member of the news department. He fondly remembered the show in this interview from our 40th anniversary. So we had some wonderful experiences and did some great things, had some interesting uh, characters go through that show, and uh, it was the highest rated local show in Western Massachusetts at the time. Every afternoon at 1, it was the Barbara Bernard Show. Barbara was a true pioneer of broadcasting in Western Mass and the country, hosting a radio show on WHYN and then moving to TV in the 50s. It was during the years, the late 50s and 60s, we had, um, we had the Valley Players, we had the Starter Music Tent, we had Jake was Pillar, we had Tanglewood, we had brilliant, talented people. Also, the fact that we were a combination AM and FM radio meant that all of these great people with recordings would come to visit and they'd love a chance to be interviewed on my program because they were promoting their records and they would lip sync a record. We had them all. And Barbara's still going strong today. The stations were sold for the first time in 1967 to Guy Gannett Broadcasting in Maine for $4 million. In the 70s and 80s, we offered local programs like Polka with Frank Knight. It was one of the most popular local programs ever, highlighting local polka bands every week. Half of the viewing audience in Western Mass turned to Polka every Monday night at 7.30. There was Conversations With, hosted by Frank McInerney every Sunday afternoon. Heritage Corner, Latino, Strum and Drummers, Pete and Willie's Tree Hut. Our local news expanded in the early 70s with a morning broadcast with veteran newscasters John Deegan and Dave Scott. Guy Gannett sold the radio stations in 1979. That's when the TV call letters changed from WHYN to WGGB. The news expanded to a full half hour at 5.30 and another half hour at 11. In the 80s, we started our first morning news from 6 to 7 and noon news from 12 to 12.30 and expanded the 5.30 news to a full hour. The 1990s saw the name of our news change from Newsbeat to News 40, and the news expanded again with the area's first 5 p.m. newscast. More behind-the-scenes changes in 1998 when Gannett sold WGGB-TV and its other stations to the Sinclair Broadcast Group. In November 2007, Sinclair sold WGGB to locally-based Gormley Broadcasting for more than $21 million, making WGGB then the only locally-owned TV station in the market. On March 31, 2008, WGGB officially launched WGGB DT2 as Springfield's first in-market Fox affiliate, offering the full Fox network lineup of entertainment and sports programs to Western Mass. Gormley Broadcasting sold WGGB to the Meredith Corporation, the owner of Channel 3 in Hartford, in November 2014 for nearly $54 million. That created a duopoly with low-power CBS affiliate WSHM. In 2015, the 
now three stations, ABC 40, CBS 3, and Fox 6, became Western Mass News. On December 1st, 2021, Meredith sold WGGB and its other TV stations to Gray Television for $2.7 billion. And that's where we are today. We've come a long way in 70 years. Our morning news programming has expanded to four and a half hours. Our noon to an hour, we offer two and a half hours from 4 to 6.30 every afternoon. Our 10 o'clock news on Fox 6 and at 11 on ABC 40 and CBS 3. We now offer two hours of news every weekend morning and newscasts weekend evenings at 6.10 and 11. Getting answers for you each and every day. Yes, ownership has changed hands over the years, but our commitment to you, our viewers, has never changed. What will the next 70 years offer? Stay tuned. Dave Matson for Western Mass News.